Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Crowdsource Challenge, episode 31, odd numbered episode, wheel time! Let's see what we get today. Milk sales are only out for, from between 5 and 8am. Okay, that can be dealt with. Um, also, could you leave in the comments if you check the, well, I'll check the Google Doc as well. But if I've forgotten to put a wheel in by the time this video goes live, uh, scream at me in the comments, please. Because I've been very bad at keeping up with it. On to the game we go. Alrighty then, so today I have absolutely no idea what to do. Why is my controller after braking? Hello? <laughs> it slightly unplugged itself. So one thing that I know we definitely do need to do is get rid of this mower. As much as I like it, it needs to go. Um, it's it's too small for this farm. Um, what I'd like to do, <laughs> and um, I'm not a hundred percent sure how I'm going to go about doing it, is I'd like to get field 18 there at the start of the spring. Um, but I'd also like to do that with a tractor that has care wheels, which is something that I don't have, so I'm probably going to use the class and just hope that it doesn't destroy the field too much. Um, it's going to be one of those fields where I set the AB line outside of it as well, just to allow myself to not screw the field up too much. Um, But first things first, we do need to get rid of this mower. It's, as much as I like it, it's not really suited to the fields we have. I might buy it back in time, but for now, it's going away skis. Um, and I'll be honest, I am kind of hoping to... There's no rule against me renting machines. Hello. There's no rule against me um, leasing machinery, is there? Because I've just had two potential ideas. Um, let's spend five to repair it and then sell it. 18,101. Okay, so let's get ex let's go max on cheek first. Let's go max on cheeky first. How much would it cost to rent the Stara? 9,900, that's too much. <laughs> Okay, less cheeky would be renting, uh, that's, no, that's not this. Less cheeky would be renting the Little Doits. 900 to rent. Okay, this is what we want. And I want it with front hydraulic. Um, can you put, yes, Trellborg narrow tires on it. GPS, because I still want that. Um, the 608 engine will be fine. I don't need a front loader attacher. And the rim color can be red. It can be a fake fent, because I'm going to keep calling it a fent. I don't have enough money. Yes, that was to buy it. 1800 lease, that's fine. So the class is going to stay at the store for now. And we're going to... Okay, this is just an extremely loud tractor. This is just extremely loud, so I'm going to turn down the game volume slightly, so that you can actually hear me. Um, is that better? That's still extremely loud. Uh, let's turn down the tractor volume as well. There we go. <laughs> In case you ever wanted kind of an, a, a numerical value on exactly how overly loud is this tractor? Um, yeah. I need I need to edit the sound file for this. I need to, sit to edit the uh, the sound file for this tractor because it is just too loud. Um, and of course the plan is that I am eventually going to buy this and use it as. Um, effectively a front loader mule. Um, I know that I've got a telehandler already, but I want a front loader mule over at the BGA. Um, 
which I'm kind of going backwards and forwards about whether or not I want to do the BGA. I do, um, but I don't want to do it with the telehandler because I feel like that'll be cheesing it a bit. I'm going to use the stoits with the little bucket that you can get for a tractor, uh, which is hilariously tiny and therefore doesn't make me feel bad about using it. Where is... This is the next problem. Where on earth did I put the sprayer? Because this is the next thing that I need. This is what I need to do the work today, is the sprayer. I think it's in here. It is in here. Fantastic. And it's full of herbicide. This is completely useless to me. I, I need not the herbicide. I need only fertilizer. Yeah, it's got nearly 3,000 litres of herbicide, which is not in any way useful. So let's uh, unload and unload. Okay, herbicide dealt with. Next issue is filling it up with actual fertilizer. Which you can't hear because the tractor's so loud that I've had to turn the volume down so low that you can't hear it. <laughs> And again, the pallets, I don't mind just leaving about. Um, what I did off camera, by the way, is I finished the seeding on field 19, and I also cleaned the uh, manure out of the cow shed. Uh, so you didn't miss much. Just a bit of kind of general grunt work that um, just needs to be done periodically. Uh, conveniently. <laughs> for the, the rules. Um, this tractor doesn't actually go faster than 40 kilometers an hour. Uh, also, it was pointed out to me in, I think it was yesterday's episode, that uh, the 40 kilometers an hour rule should only really apply on the main roads as they're public. All of these little farm tracks, the majority of the map, is private land, where technically speed limits don't apply. Um, so I'm going to roll with that. Um, I was also asked if I was going to play some more car mechanic. No, because... Um, honestly, and this is being as nice as I can possibly be to it, the optimization leaves a lot to be desired. And... Um, it is this herbicide or fertilizer? I can't remember which one's which. Your fertilizer. Fantastic. Give me your fertilizer. I'm definitely going to need to buy another pallet of fertilizer. Uh, 2800 for 3000 versus 3200 for. Well, why would I ever go for the in game one when this one's cheaper? There's the little uh, funnel out on the side, and fill level is showing full. If you're wondering where the fill level is, actually is on this, it's at the back. The front tank, you can see the fill level there, it's in the green. And the rear tank, you can see the fill level way down there at indicating 13, which I'm not entirely sure what the 13 means, but it, it, it says 13. Is that the actual capacity of it? Ah, it's the capacity in hundreds of litres. Okay, that makes sense. Whee! Um, so with this I don't need to worry too much about the AB line, but I will still record, well, I'll be able to record it in the field because I've got care wheels on, and care wheels, what they do, is they don't damage the crops. So I can, uh, I can go into the field, record the AB line however I want, and then start on the headlands. Or the headland. We're only going to do one. So let's get an AB line recorded here. We're going to mark point A. Let's say here ish. That's not how you mark an AB line. Let's mark point A there. Sometimes my macro doesn't work, it seems. And we'll mark point B up here. So that's our A, B line sorted, and you can see zero damage to the crops, and just for verification, crop destruction is on. 
Plant withering and growth are off. Um, just for convenient YouTube reasons. So it's time to unfold the Sprayotron 5000. And we'll get going on the... I just need to double check that this field does in fact need spraying. Uh, for the most part, yes. 19 also apparently needs just one more layer of fer uh, fertilizer, so probably... I might spray that. I'm not 100% decided on what I want to do with it just yet. But, uh, yeah, the plan is here, we're going to spray this field up, we're going to hopefully not need to refill again, because if we do, I will need to, to buy another um, pallet of liquid fertilizer. Because this takes be the better part of 3,000 litres, so it won't refill again. And I do enjoy, I'm just going to lower this a bit more, there we go, I do enjoy the... Uh, the crop spending. I know that you wouldn't ever have the spray arm this low, but I just enjoy watching the crop spend as I'm spraying. Um, in reality, it probably would be about this high, just enough to kind of tickle the tops of the crops. Maybe just the tiniest bit higher, just just over the top, like this-ish. Um, but I quite like having it a bit lower than you maybe would in real life, just because it looks pretty. Also lets me know that I am in fact spraying the crop. Um, <laughs> so you might notice it is 20 past 11 at the moment and uh, I didn't stream yesterday. Why did I not stream yesterday? It's because I didn't wake up until nearly 6pm. Um, which annoyed the crap out of me when I woke up and realised it was... I think it was quarter to 6 I woke up. Um, if not a bit later than that, and I was just like, oh no, this isn't going to work because I'm just going to be very angry all day. And I have been. Um, so days like that, it's better that I don't stream and just don't say th the thing. Um, if you're in Discord, you will have probably noticed that I didn't talk until very late last night, except for tagging Faye like once when he was in and about. Um, yeah, I... Uh, yeah, just screwed everything up yesterday, basically. Um, I have a plan for definitely streaming today. Um, so, don't worry, I will be streaming today. Is the plan. Knowing me, the plan will break and... You know, everything will go wrong. But I do have a plan. Um... And oddly, one of the things that I definitely need to do t um, tonight is some dishes, because I meant to do them last night and I completely forgot. But we are going to continue pushing onwards and upwards and forwards and backwards and slightly to the left um, with the fertilizing. Also, somebody pointed out that uh, yesterday's video was a bit odd because they were imagining watching one of my videos for the first time and uh, the fact that I went on a bit of a, a weird tangent about cows eating poop and grass. <laughs> Which is, I mean, it's technically true. It is technically true. It's also one of Dave's weird tangents for the, the week. Uh, so I have been looking through the comments. Um, I haven't had much time... Well, I've had tons of time to do it, I just haven't been doing it. Um, because I was downstairs most of the day. Uh, making sure my mother was alright, because she is uh, a bit under the weather at the moment. I've just been kind of making sure all that was fine. Um, and making sure the fire was lit and all that kind of stuff. and Making sure the cat wasn't bothering her. Because the cat came in and he was in a weird mood and blah. One of the, it's, it's just been one of those days where everything's going a bit weird. Um, I do plan 
at some point this week, question mark, to get another bit of a bulk recording done so that I'll desync the streams from the videos, um, intentionally this time. Well, somewhat intentionally. Um, because I want to, uh, I, I've got the, the house to myself over the weekend, and I figure that's a really good time to completely tear my room apart and uh, give it a good once over uh, which you guys know at this point that me tidying my room has become a meme that I do it like once every few weeks but this is going to be one of those times where I completely tear it to bits and I might not stream over the weekend as a direct result of this I might cancel a stream or, t uh, or both streams over the weekend um, because in theory I will have the house to myself Saturday and Sunday and possibly Monday. Um, and I need I need to find out what bin's going on Monday night actually. This is Dave doing like random housekeeping stuff. I need to figure out what bin's going on on Monday night. Um, because that'll be convenient to my plans. Um, so yeah, I am going to be keeping myself occupied, possibly away from the channel and doing a bulk record to facilitate that. We are nearly done with the headland and we're not going to have enough fertilizer to do this field. There is no way on earth we're going to have enough fertilizer to do this field. That sucks. We're going to have to buy another another pallet or poss probably two. I want to say possibly but it's 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 more it's I think more of a probability and it's more than likely we're gonna need two more pallets of fertilizer to do this field. Um, so I'm giving myself more work that I'll need to do during streams by the way by doing this but it's fine. Um, tomorrow's video I'm likely to do another one of those Dave does housekeeping and general farm work videos. I need to check on the chickens uh, because it's claiming they're put putting out zero liters of eggs at the moment or they have zero liters of eggs put out um, I need to kind of rearrange the wool pallets because um, again it's claiming zero liters of wool from the sheep um, the milk I'm gonna keep as is um, in a, a strange twist I want to kind of store up milk plus um, with the sales rule I can't sell it tomorrow or in tomorrow's video unless it's miraculously f between 5 and 8am which I'm not gonna just cheese time to 5am to do it um, so we are in a bit of a conundrum I could sell the wool pallet that is 100% made I could sell some eggs this is those are distinct possibilities. There could as well be a great demand all of a sudden. Um, which, I, again, I could choose, but I'm not going to. If there's one for oats, fantastic. If not, oh well. Um, another thing that I could do is uh, deal with the silage a bit more. That is something that needs to be done. I need to start compacting it, not that uh, this is going to need to be re-widthed and I've gone to the wrong side auto width there we go so yeah the auto width has kicked it out a bit which is fine we'll just let it realign here real quick there we go And away we go with more fertilizer to go on the field. <laughs> so let's just see how we're doing. We're doing fairly well. I'm not quite sure why this bit here and this bit here haven't fertilized. I can only presume that they're actually outside the width that I've already done. Um, but yeah, I am going to be doing some, some weird wonkiness. You can see that I'm actually over-fertilizing this little line up here from when... Um, if you're wondering why that's there, it's from when uh, 
the game did a growth state while I was fertilizing the field and I got really angry. Um, it's also why I've got the growth growth turned off currently. It just prevents that from happening as a a forced thing. Um, because like this is going to be big money. This field is going to be big money with all of this canola. Um, and I will, by the way, be setting a combine off just on course play in this field, and uh, potentially even course playing a collection course. Uh, just just to kind of make it a bit easier for me to keep the silage going, keep field 19 going, keep the animals going, and just kind of get everything done in a bit of a more timely fashion. I know that I've been a bit hesitant to use course play too much, um, and I'm going to start changing that to being a bit more reliant on course play, which is probably going to anger the people who don't like course play, but this is the way that I'm going to do it. Uh, just moving forward a small bit. Uh, because the equipment I have is very small for this map. The, the, the harvester is too, uh, I would argue, a bit too small. The headers are a bit too small. The tractors are probably about the right size, but the equipment they're pulling is possibly a bit small. Um, so I do need to try and figure out a way around that. And the way around is going to be just being a bit more... Leaning on course play small bit more. Um, how are we doing with this line here? You can see it. <laughs> Big dark blue line through the light blue. Uh, that's fine. Now, of course, we're not going to get 100% perfect yield on this field because we do have a minor weed issue down the corners here. Um, and that's just going to be conveniently ignored because... Okay, how far back do I need to go? Quite far back. Well, if I reverse with this on, it should, in theory, help. The problem is, I can't see where has been fertilized and where hasn't. That looks like it's done, so I'm just going to stop up here and double check. Yes, that is done. I just need to head up into the corner here and get another tiny bit from, like, here-ish. And... That's that line done. On to the next line we go. Now, I know it is a bit cheeky to be using row crops and care wheels, but there's no rule against me renting a machine just to do this. And in time, I will be buying a Deutz, uh, when we have the money, probably after the next Great Demand or two, uh, I will be buying a Deutz specifically for the fact that it can have spray uh, care wheels on. Um, because care wheels mean that I don't need to worry about when I come into the field with the sprayer, I can come in at any given point and just go, hey, this field needs spraying, I'm going to spray this field now. Uh, so we are good with that. And we are good with pretty much everything right now, I think. Apart from, like, the financials, we are running a bit low on money, and I'm going to need to buy another couple of um, pallets of fertilizer, which means we are going to be dipping into the bank and more of a loan again, uh, which sucks, but it's going to have to be done. Uh, I... I'm not as hesitant to get loans knowing that I can, you know, kind of use certain crops, by which I mean grass, hay, and straw, um, if I'm really pushed to prop up stuff on the farm, like, I could very easily kind of get a bit cheaty uh, once the DLC is out, once the Anderson DLC is out, and just go ham on, you know, making hay and, and using the auto stacker and just bringing it straight over to the uh, to the barn. Um, and I could do that right now with the Arcusen, but I'd, I'm really I'm a bit hesitant to do that because that in my eyes would be cheesing things but you know it, it's definitely something I could do if I really if I feel like this is moving too slowly I, I probably will um, 
I do get the feeling that we are moving a bit slowly on this map. I am tempted to just make hay and field um, 15 next time around and uh, just auto stack it up, bring it over to the barn or even just collect it in a, a forage wagon, bring it over to the barn and just set it straight off um, just to get a bit of money together because that field does produce quite a lot of money. Why is my e-cig leaking? This is concerning me. There's been oil coming out of my e-cig all evening and I'm not entirely sure why. I think there's a seal that's not working the way that it should. So what I'll likely do is I'll wait until it's empty and uh, do some running repairs on it. By which I mean just check to see if there is actually a, a fault in it. That's all the past done. On to the next one. Um, so, the, as I said, the plan for tomorrow's video is going to be kind of a, a bit of an everything episode again. There is a lot that needs to be done. This kind of quick jobs, but not the most exciting jobs in the world. I will grant that. Um, like just checking up on the sheep, checking up on the pigs, checking up on the chickens, making sure the chickens are actually producing. Um, cleaning up the various dirt areas so I'll be putting the bucket on the on the um, the tail handler and just carting that around the map uh, with like whatever they've kicked out because the chickens definitely need cleaning if I like if I open up the animal dialogue here the pigs need cleaning pretty badly um, the chickens are down to 0% cleanliness so they definitely need cleaning oh they're now registering 128 litres so they are clearly fine and the, oh, the sheep are registering too uh, but they need cleaning, the cows need cleaning, the chickens need feeding, the pigs need cleaning. Um, so that is definitely needed. I've just noticed the sheep are regarded as Marwell Farm sheep and gates and doors. <laughs> Oxy, I'm not entirely sure you knew that was a thing. Um, so you got Southview Farm pigs, Southview Farm itself. Marwell farm sheep and gates slash doors, and then the Marwell cows. Some of the sheep may be, in fact, doors disguised as sheep, or gates disguised as sheep. This is something I have just learned. Where are door and gate sheep? Hmm. -mm. This concerns me. Because doors and gates generally don't grow wool. What kind of magic doors and gates do we have on Marwell? Um. I just want to do a quick sit rep on the field. We are missing tiny bits, but they're so small that I'm going to count them as basically insignificant. Like, it's not the end of the world that we're missing small, tiny bits of the field. Um, the, the priority for me is getting, like, most of this to be dark blue. Not this... I'm nearly fertilized! Light blue that it currently is. Uh, I wanted we we we're, we're going to get some crops out of the field here, dark blue. Oh yeah, boy! Uh, that's the color that I wanted. Not hey, there's literally some fertilizer on the field. Uh, yeah, no, what big manly field? Not little little babby field. Little babby field is no good for money. Big manly field. Big grown up adult field is good for money. And I really wish, I really, really wish the great demand was on oats, not sunflowers. Although sun, the sunflower great demand is hilarious. It's like 1,600 per thousand litres. You're, you know, you're, if I had sunflowers, I would be making good money, but I don't want to grow sunflowers or soybeans um, or sugar cane before Fahid decides to throw that into the comments. Um, on this map because it just wouldn't make any sense for a British map to have sugarcane, soybeans or sunflowers. Sunflowers, it could be argued, are reasonable to grow in the UK though, so like, what well, I could do it and it would be reasonably legit. It's not something that I want to do. It's not something that I feel the map, the area in real life would have. Um, potatoes is but because of the way that it works in farm sim, it's not something that I want to do. Um, 
So I'll probably go with sugar beets just for convenience. And field field ten is just weird. Like field field ten is, is just it it's just constantly in a mood and like it 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 feels like a parallelogram. Just that's that's its its feeling. Just let let field ten be the parallelogram it really wants to be, I guess. Um, <laughs> but that is about all we have time for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And maybe you'll get more weird cow rants where I decide the cows eat something else that's completely random. Uh, and confuse new people again. But until next time, stay safe. And goodbye. <laughs>